if we talk about the muscles of the forearm there are total 20 muscles in our forearm eight lying in the anterior compartment and 12 lying in the posterior compartment further the muscles of the anterior and posterior compartment are divided into superficial and deeper plane by a fascia in the forearm so in the anterior compartment there are five muscles in superficial plane whereas three muscles in deeper plane in posterior compartment we have seven muscles in superficial plane and five muscles lying in the deeper plane now additionally to know we can say that posterior compartment muscles are also known as extensors and anterior compartment muscles are also known as flexors now talking about the origin of these muscles we have humerus having lateral epicondyle and medial epicondyle so flexor muscles have got anteriorly this medial epicondyle has a common flexor origin whereas posteriorly from the humerus the lateral epicondyle of the humerus these extensor muscles get their origination and dominantly extensor muscles are supplied by the radial nerve whereas flexor muscles are supplied by the median and ulnar nerve now let us memorize these muscles so we will start from the anterior compartment muscles five in superficial three in deeper layer so we have this medial epicondyle and from there these flexor muscles are originating we have pronator teres flexor carpi radialis palmaris longus flexor carpi ulnaris and we have the flexor digitorum superficialis if you are still unable to memorize these muscles then you can use your palm of left hand putting it over your right forearm like this below your elbow and each finger will denote these muscles thumb will denote the pronator teres flexor carpi radialis will be denoted by your forefinger middle finger as being longer will denote the palmaris longus whereas the ring finger will denote the flexor digitorum superficialis but lying in a deeper plane than these four muscles and the muscle towards the ulnar side will denote the flexor carpi ulnaris now let us memorize the deeper three muscles as we have superficialis muscle in superficial layer we will have this profundus muscle in deeper layer so flexor digitorum profundus and as we have pronator teres we will have pronator quadratus in the deeper layer d for d quadratus in deeper layer pronator quadratus so another third one will be the flexor pollicis longus likewise we can see here this is flexor pollicis longus flexor digitorum profundus and pronator quadratus lying like this in a quadrate in shape now let's use the easiest trick to memorize the muscles of the posterior compartment so we can use the mnemonic a b c d e and if you remember your mom then you will say mom you are love so let's begin it now stay focused and if you write it down along with us or you are listening to us with your intense focus you will never ever forget it so through this e we can write extensors as this is the extensor group of muscles so we will write it for five times Two, three, four, five extensors. Remember this extensors for five times, and then we will use this carpi for three times. C for carpi, so carpi for three times, and then we will use this radialis for two times. So radialis, radialis, and then L for longus and V for brevis. Simple as that, longus and brevis, just like that. And then U for ulnaris. So this will be the extensor carpi ulnaris. And now we will use this D for two times. So extensor D Z T I M for mom. So minimize. We will use that also. And then we will have another D for extensor digitorum itself. Just like that only extensor digitorum. Now what are the two muscles of the superficial plane then? A for anconius and seventh b for brachioradialis so this is it now if you are focused enough you will never ever forget the muscles of the superficial plane of the posterior compartment now let's talk about the muscles of the deeper plane of the posterior compartment so we have these muscles right here we have the supinator abductor pollicis longus extensor pollicis brevis and longus and then we have this extensor indices right here so these are the muscles of the deeper layer of the posterior compartment which will be remembered through the mnemonic eq sap or we can say it as esap 
so here we have three e's means three extensors so extensor indices and extensor policies longus and brevis so easy to remember extensor policies longus and brevis now these are three e's so there is one muscle called a supinator muscle see here and we have another abductor policies longus so ap that is for abductor policies longus simple as that 